What it do, what it do, what it do. It's your boy Badger. And it's Maha. And this is Badger. And this is Fritzy. And they're gonna be in the video as long as I can keep holding this big boy. <laughs> All right, sorry y'all, Badger gotta go. All this hair getting on me, sorry Badger. Yeah, go down there. It was good while it lasted that. Yeah, uh, I can't do that. <laughs> we just got Prince on still. Prince, Prince he's can... very chill. Well, Prince is only chill because he's held like this 24 seven. Yes. Like a human baby. Very much baby. Anyways, man. We are back at it again with uh, another video today. We gotta give the verse of the day. Get, say one from memory. Ah! Verse of the day comes from Matthew eleven twenty eight, 28, and it says, come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Mm. You gotta come to Jesus. When you are struggling and Going through stuff, go to Jesus. Call oh, Jesus. Anyways, man, we back with another video, another Skibbity Toilet reaction, cause y'all just love it. Y'all y'all love when we react to Skibbity. So we gonna keep reacting. Mm -hmm. So look, man, we got to react again. Today is Skibbity Toilet 57 part one. I ain't never seen that this before. This is the first. This is a part one of, so I'm guessing part two gonna come out next. You know what I'm saying? Get ready for part two this week. That's probably gonna drop tomorrow. We'll watch this and you know, we gotta go back. We gotta look at some Easter eggs that's probably in it that we gonna miss. So let's get into it, man. Dang! The possessed speaker man. We got a right. Oh, dang. God. Oh, boy, this is on some trans. Take him out. Take him out. Take him out. Oh, there did the freaking G Mod do. No. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yo. Plunger man. Stop Wait. Stop it. No. No. Oh, no! Bruh. Plunger man. I could have sworn bro was gonna live the whole time. Hmm. Bruh, did he die? I just wanna know what he was trying to do in Well, the okay, to be fair. You does, think he was trying to take out the thing? No, I'm saying, to be fair, he usually has double plungers. What was that second plunger gonna do? <laughs> Alright, let's watch it really one quick. One more time. See if we missed anything. Dang, he stepped on bro. That's crazy. Now, who is this? This is cameraman. This is Titan cameraman. Titan cameraman. He looked a lot different, Mike. <laughs> they keep upgrading yeah, him. Yeah, he always gets upgraded. That boy said, mm -mm -mm. Right, she'll bump, bite. Man, get your little tail back over here, Mike. He lucky he did that. Oh, he kicked the mess out of him. I haven't seen Bra in a while. I know. I ain't know, he got headphones and sunglasses this time. He, he said, I'm care. not about to get messed up. Ooh, he Sorry. tackled that man. Plunger man. I thought he was about to disrupt everything. <laughs> no, Ross, so Plunger man died? He might just be injured. Oh my goodness. <laughs> ah! 
Let's see some Easter eggs by ISO Toilet real quick. Let's see what he had to say about it real quick. Hi, everyone. The 57th Hi. episode of Skibidi Toilets is out, but not completely. Mm. We saw only the first part, but even in it, there were a lot of important events. In this video, see. we will talk about all the secrets and Easter eggs of the new episode. Okay. Is Plungerman alive and why did he sacrifice himself? It's crazy. For what reason did the agent know. appear this time? Why does G Toilet need glasses and did the Titan cameraman destroy him? As I always, so. sit comfortably and watch <laughs> the video to the end. I promise you'll enjoy it. Let's go. Let's These go. first shots of the series were in Dafuk's Discord for a reason. Notice this cameraman in the blue suit and red shirt. First of all, we know for a fact that he's from Titan's squad, which means the others probably are too. Mm. We also saw this guy at the very beginning of the series mm. in episode 3. Note that there are no agents in the same outfit among the cameraman squad. We've only seen him twice, in episodes 3 and 55, and now he shows up again. I think there's a reason Dafuk chose this guy. Also notice this agent who is clearly disturbed by something. I think this is the POV cameraman from episode 55. Remember I said he was the only one who didn't attack Skibidi. He and Titan met eyes at the end of the episode, but Titan was very unhappy. Mm. I have two guesses as to why he's so sad. The first is that this cameraman is a weak soldier. He is afraid to engage in combat Yikes. and takes a long time to react. Because of that, Titan gave him a displeased look. This is the reason why cameraman is very worried right now and thinks he's worthless. I'll tell you the second Dang. assumption a little later, you'll be surprised. Worthless. Next, we see the infected Titan destroying the big speaker man. Bam. Speaker men sometimes appear in episodes and that makes me happy, but I don't quite understand how he ended up here. Titan cameraman squad didn't have one. Maybe he was with Simp Cameraman Squad. <laughs> By the way, check out this building. That's the building that POV Cameraman saw at the end of episode 56. And this is the building that was in the distance in episode 55. So it's still the same map. So many of my assumptions from past videos turned out to be true. The squads did encounter an infected speakerman close to the Skibidi toilet space. The uh. plunger man was actually needed to destroy the parasite, which he almost did. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Facts. You see how long the cannon take to fire the beam into the Titan Speakerman's core? You mm. think it's not powerful enough? Not at all! The core is not the weak point of an infected Titan. I mean, it's a Titan's weakness, but not a Parasite's. To disarm a Skibidi Parasite, you have to aim for the Parasite itself. Yeah. Right? That's why the Skibidi have made a lot of protection for the Titan around the head and shoulders, uh, where the Parasite sits. Yeah. As you can see, the core is completely unprotected. I think even if the anti-parasite tank wasn't destroyed, it still wouldn't be able to destroy the parasite. We are again shown the Titan cameraman's new abilities. His shoulder cameras fold up. That's By smooth. the way, this was also seen in episode 53, but I didn't notice it then. Apparently the cameras are needed to see more of the area from above. Not mm. for Titan himself, but for the Ooh. cameraman's scientists because they will be able to view the recordings and get more information about the battlefield. Oh, they watch and the yes, film! <laughs> the cameras are folded to not interfere with the cannons when they are turned forward. By the way, notice how the body of the big speaker man disappears under the Titan's foot at one point. You probably wondered where the Titan cameraman's shield came from and why is it so yeah. small? Simple, it's I not a shield. That. It's a piece of a collapsed house roof. Just this one. Notice oh. that after the battle, the piece got smaller and lies differently. The only purpose of the shield was to protect Titan's main camera. This is a clear reference to Titan's battle with the G-Man oh. toilet back in episode 20. Oh. Note that he could have reached for the hammer, but instead Titan hits the speaker man in the face with his hand. Oh. Serious. This is because he doesn't want to hurt his friend. Cameraman's task oh. is to knock the parasite out of his place. Ah. But the parasite is sitting there pretty well and has Ooh. no plans to get unhooked. Uh, also note that during Titan Speakerman's shots, there are no rockets or ammo flying out of his cannons. They work like Titan Cameraman's old cannon, only the glow is red. We talked about how such a cannon works in detail in the analysis of episode 51. You can re-watch it after this video to remember. Note that Titan Cameraman doesn't use his guns. He mm -hmm. fights very carefully so as not to hurt Titan Speakerman. After kicking the Speakerman down, I think he wanted to unhook the parasite with his hands. Uh, and then we see the appearance of someone we haven't seen in a very long time. Z-Man Toilet. And to yeah. be honest, I'm disappointed in him. We've seen so many of Skibidi's powerful inventions in recent episodes. Flamethrower, acid, Ooh, yeah. powerful armor, saws. 
but all the improvements to the main G toilet are extra lasers, headphones, and a couple <laughs> sheets of metal on the sides. I've already expressed the theory that the G toilet may no longer be the main one among the Skibidi, and this is once again confirmed. It looks like it doesn't benefit the Skibidi scientist to make G-Man stronger. I think even if he is destroyed, it won't change anything. G-Toilet is not like before. I think in the second part we'll see Titan Cameraman fight G-Toilet. I'm sure they're both fine despite the explosions. By the way, that metal part doesn't look like protection. It could be retractable armor or a secret weapon. I hope we'll find that out in the second part of episode 57. Let's go back a little bit to episode 47. There's a lot to talk about. First of all, Titan Cinema Man didn't have a core defense. Instead, it just had a speaker on top of the core. By the way, you're arguing in the comments about how to call this Titan. I'll explain it to you. Until episode 44, it was Titan TV Man, but then he was improved by attaching speakers. That's when he became Titan Cinema Man. You can see that from the titles of these episodes, so it wasn't my idea, Cinema but Defook okay. named Titan like that. Remember when G-Toilet was losing badly in the battle with Cinema Man? Bad. I noticed that after that moment, G-Man no longer shot lasers out of his eyes at all. The glasses appeared as eye protection, but in addition, I think Titan destroyed his laser yeah. eyes. Then notice that the mechanisms around Cameraman and Cinema Man's core are similar, but Cameraman has a new defense technology. I think it's related to Titan Cinema Man and scientists are working together to improve them. Most likely, the same technology will appear on the rebuilt Cinema Man Titan. Why does G-Man need headphones? It's simple. I didn't pay attention to it when analyzing episode 56. But Titan Speaker Man didn't use his speakers as weapons before. He basically attacked everyone with a rocket launcher on his arm. So it's probably this ability that came after the upgrade. And to prevent G-Man from being stunned when he is near the Titan, he was given headphones. Or G-Man just became deaf and blind, and now he is controlled from the base of Skibidi. But like this is not one. very possible. But let's back to analyzing the I episode. Like that one. The appearance of the secret agent this time was noticed by oh, many people. What the heck? For Dang. some reason, there is a green glow around him now. Maybe it's a portal from where he appears, or a teleportation aura or something. I think, I think that's a reach. That's a reach. He's just probably just standing there. <laughs> I assume that the green glow also indicates that Dafuk isn't just watching. He's controlling one of the Titans, but there's something more- Bruh, I could have sworn I said something like that in yeah, one of the did. others. You I did. said that I feel like they're controlling it all and they're just watching. Yeah. And it's never going to end. I, I literally said that. Like, I'm so smart. Maybe you should be an Easter egger. Yeah, I'm going to be like uh, this dude. Welcome, everybody. Today, we will see on this episode. As you can see, Skibbity. That's how he tell. Mm. That wasn't funny. Mm. More important and almost <laughs> unnoticed in this episode. You see this screen directly across from us. There's no writing on it, but it appears when the Titans start fighting. You can see Rayal in this shot, and you can see the first letters of B right here. I'm pretty sure it says betrayal. Mm. And I have two options here. First, let's go back to that camera. He be looking hard. You know, half these scenes I didn't even know was in this episode. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> like, dang, you looking real hard if you noticing that. I'm yeah. just trying to see what's happening. Cameraman. Remember in episode 50, these cameramen didn't give a thumbs up with everybody else. Then the POV cameraman doesn't help the others attack the radioactive toilet. It's like he knew it was pointless. Or maybe he didn't even want to shoot. Titan looks at the agent with displeasure. A few cameramen could be traitors. Maybe that's what's troubling oh. him on the roof. Mm. He had to be fair, though, how is this a face of displeasure? <laughs> there is no face. <laughs> I mean, I kind of got that vibe, too. Like, he was like, I thought it was kind of like, dang, what happened? Yeah. But, I mean, how can you tell it's a face of displeasure? Because there was no thumbs up. Okay, yeah, I did expect a thumbs up, I mm -hmm. think. Okay, I can see that. Good job, babe. Good job. I be trying sometimes. A few cameramen could be traitors. Maybe that's what's troubling him on the roof. Mm. He has to do something to help the Skibidi toilets win, and he's having a hard time deciding to do it. Whoa. Meanwhile, the sad cameraman doesn't have a gun. I think that's why he didn't shoot in episode 55. Well, give then it's more likely that the TV men are traitors. They're obviously unhappy with the cameramen after the destroyed tank. Facts. Or it's just an excuse to turn around and attack their partners. 
Then there's a reason we're shown the love story between TV woman and the simp cameraman. What if along with unrequited love, we see TV woman's betrayal? That would be really emotional. I think we'll see that in part two. Before we get to the saddest part of the video, I'll tell you something else. Notice how long Titan Speakerman stands there aiming instead of starting to shoot and help the G toilet. At first I thought his cannons first boost for a while and then fire a few powerful shots, but that's not the case. Last episode he fired right after he reloaded his guns. I don't know in general what exactly he's reloading by the way, since the cannons don't have rockets and shoot energy like the old cameraman Titan cannon. Maybe he's just showing off, I mean not him but the parasite that controls him. But the question remains, why doesn't the infected Titan fly to the rescue of the G toilet? Perhaps that is betrayal. Skibidi scientist clearly has great technology and control over the parasite. That's who we gotta take out. The scientist. Yes, you take yeah. out the scientist. It's over. It's over. Cause then who gonna create the other inventions? Exactly. That's the man we gotta take out. Maybe he wants to take power over the Skibidi toilets. Anyway, I already did a video about this topic. Be sure to watch it when you're done with this one. And now we come to the saddest but most interesting part. No! First of all, the Plunger Man is a robot, and I don't think he's destroyed. He'll okay. be repaired, and he'll come back to us much stronger. Okay. We saw the same thing with the scientist in episode 48 who became a cyborg. Many of you referred ah. to the Plunger Cameraman as a mini Titan. I think mm -hmm. DeFouque purposely made the scene where he gets badly injured to make him stronger with technology later oh. on. But he sacrificed himself for a reason. See that plunger right there behind his back. When Titan pulls the plunger man out from behind his scruff, the plunger is gone. So it's still there, maybe even on Skibidi Parasite's face. Oh. But I have a guess that maybe there was an explosive or something attached to the plunger. Maybe just at the beginning of the second part of the episode, it should work and free Titan. Because you gotta think, he was back there for a little bit. Yeah, he was. So he probably did something real slick before he yeah. left. Parasite. I just don't believe a character like Plungerman has been trained for so long that he mm. just tries and fails. Fact. I'm sure he's the one who has to destroy the parasite. His right arm and two legs are destroyed, but no problem. He was holding the plunger in his left hand when he flew. Maybe mm. Plungerman is left-handed. Also, <laughs> the explosion in the Titan's fist is the destroyed jetpack. The plunger cameraman ignited because of the fuel from the destroyed jetpack, not because he is hurt very badly. That said, the blue glow of the lower camera at the end went out. Speaking of the blue glow, let's think back to the camera woman. We've only seen it twice, and I think for good reason. She's gonna help the plunger man, I hope. Remember when Titan dropped the plunger man off on the roof in episode 51? I think that was training. He had to learn how to climb across rooftops to jump on Titan. The jetpack makes too much noise and takes a long time to take off and Plungerman needs to jump behind the infected Titan's back unnoticed. Hmm. He's done that successfully, I hope. What's more, he didn't just jump in that moment to destroy the parasite. While Cameraman is dealing with the G-Toilet, Plungerman has been distracting yeah, a Titan Speakerman. Though him. even without Plungerman, Titan stood around with his guns loaded for too long and just watched. I don't know how this is going to end. Now that was a good analysis. I saw yeah. Toilet as a really good analysis. I like how he does his stuff. His stuff. So shout out to I saw Toilet for that analysis. Yeah, I'm ready for episode 57 part two, man. Yeah, I hope Plunger Man's still alive. Yeah, but no, I hope they like change him to something crazy. I know. Like that man is operating something big or I don't know, but they do gotta fix him up. I hope yeah. he is still alive though. I think it's gonna be some type of a plot twist that's gonna surprise everyone soon. Yeah. So don't don't sleep on Plunger Man. That man gonna change this whole- Plunger Man really took one for the team. No, he did, he did. So shout out to that man, Plunger Man. But yeah, bro, that's it. That's it for this video. We will be back for episode 57 part two because we gotta see what happens. Facts. It, is, it has intensified to the max it now. Sure has. So like, comment, subscribe, hit that post notification, and we'll see you next time. Hey man, AG2G, all glory to God. Peace out. Bye.